that's really what DPing is all about, is these subtle notes that you're just infusing into your visuals, into your films, into your videos. The obsessive thing. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to The Obsessive DP. I'm Ryan. This is the show where we go over high-level industry standard lighting, lensing, any kind of cinematography or DP-related techniques. Today, we're gonna talk about something that maybe none of you ever use, but I think it's interesting. It is faking sunset for sunrise. So let's say you want a sunrise shoot. Let's be honest, sunrise is not that long, and you want to extend it, or you don't want to get up early, and you want to instead do your shoot at sunrise. Sunset. Well, the tips in this video will help you accomplish that goal. So I'll show you I'll show you an example here. So this was a shoot with a church doing a sunrise service and they wanted to do a sunrise service. And I said, sure, we could do a sunrise service or we could do the sunrise service at sunset. What do you think about that? And they said, Sounds good to us. I'm pretty sure everyone jumped on that idea because instead of being a call time at like 4 a.m., the call time was like at 4 p.m. and that was a big difference. This was how the shoot turned out. It was shot on cameras we don't usually shoot on here, but we needed a lot of cameras and the budget wasn't massive, so we shot on, you know, just some cheaper Sony cameras. But I think it still looks good. So I actually did a little Instagram video <laughs> to explain what we did here. So the first song's on the top, right? It's not very hot on the hair. And then the second song, look at how much brighter it is because the sun was actually coming out. <laughs> but how did we shoot this? So this is how we shot it. Here's what happened. Let's get to the scouting. So these are our scouting photos, right? We have several photos. This felt like the best frame of the location right here. You have this barn, you have these crazy ridges and they have part of this tree, this great oak in shot. And I just felt this was the best shot on the location. But the thing is, the sun did not rise over this hill. And when you're shooting lower budget exteriors, day exteriors, you wanna have the sun behind you. You don't want the sun in front. So if we actually shot this way during sunrise, we would have had very strong light onto our scene. And our scene is big. We need like a 20 by silk to cover our scene so that the sun wasn't blasting into people's eyeballs and just making them look whited out and no good. It does not look good. Always backlight your scenes with sunlight. If you're using sunlight, don't have the sun in front of your characters, have it behind them. It looks night and day better. <laughs> sun, day. So we figured this was our best scene. So I suggested the sun is setting here. Why don't we shoot this way? We can still make it look like sunrise if we do everything in reverse. Now I don't mean, <laughs> so we are actually only dealing with the music here. The other parts of the service were done at a different time. So I was tasked to just DP the music portion and that's what I suggested. I suggested we'll get some bounces here. We got some four by eight bounces on the camera left side to bounce back onto our scene. And then we made sure that the sun set right here. I think it was either right here, or right here. And then we did the song order backwards. They didn't sing the songs backwards. That would be hilarious. But we actually just did the song order backwards. So let's say song four, that was gonna be fourth in the lineup in the actual service as people watched it. We did that fourth song first so that the sun was the lowest and so that the sun looked like it was rising because song three, two, and one, the sun was higher because we filmed them backwards. I hope that makes sense. It's a little complicated. I'm not that good at explaining things, but that's how we did it. So this whole Instagram post is pretty good at explaining it. Uh, sun is rising here. There's no shadows in the ground. And then this is our final song where the sun is up. We actually filmed this song first. We filmed this song last, but we played them in reverse order when it actually went live on the video. Here's another, here's another behind the scenes shot. So I actually got, again, the budget was lower for this. So I got three four by eight foam boards from Home Depot. You can pick them up. You, you peel off the like plastic on it and then it has this nice white. And what this white did was keyed, 
why am I like that with sound? It's keyed everyone from the left side, right? So the sun was kind of three quarter backing him on the on the right side, but look at her. She's actually more lit on the left side because of our bounce cards than the right side. And then over here, the bounce cards didn't go as far, but you can still see that she's a little more lit on this side than this side. And then we put as much as we could, we drove a car up here and put all this black wrap on the car to have our neg fill. So we did have a key side and a neg side, even though we were on a pretty low budget and we were just kind of dealing with the sun. Both of those things, our bounces and our neg did play on our scene, as you can see on multiple sides. So that was pretty cool. It's pretty cool to do the low budget things, not what we usually do, but it is fun to come up with clever ways to make things work. And that's really the end of the video. So I hope that was good. Obviously scouting and knowing where the sun is at all times is super important, is the most important thing. And if you come to a situation where the frame looks good going one direction and you wanna shoot it at sunrise, just shoot it at sunset and no one will know as long as you do things in the correct order. But let's say it's a really short scene, you might be able to get away with it doing it in the, in the normal order. Honestly, go going really backwards no one would have probably even noticed if we shot this in the normal order and the sun was setting people don't notice those types of things but it's fun to be a dp and to put these things into your visuals that you notice and that the people with a trained eye will also notice that's really what dping is all about is these subtle notes that you're just infusing into your visuals into your films into your videos even if it's just a smaller video infusing these elements all always heightens the quality of your work. I hope that was helpful. Go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions or any thoughts on how to make this better. I hope you subscribe, hit the bell, like this video, and stay obsessed.